Good news. The pack here, man. It's what I've been waiting on. It look like this box ain't all the way sealed, man. Let me take a picture of it real quick. Let me uh, send it to my manufacturer, see if I can get a discount or something on the next order. Uh, what if something fell out, you know what I'm saying? That ain't cool. I wanna see if he's gonna blame it on the um on the shipping company, but go ahead and take a picture of that. Before I get started, let me give a quick shout out to my boy Travis, the more agape. Pink shirt real quick, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Let me introduce myself. Um I was Street Sanctum. I started Street Sanctum. The official drop date was November 21st. That was my mom's birthday. That's why I wanted to drop on that date. Um, so far, I think I've had, let me see how many sales. I think I had like 12 sales. Made about 400 or something like that. All my orders really came from the first week, first week and a half. I think it's because I actually did some marketing on social media. I didn't really do uh, much marketing after that. So I think I saw a clear difference between when you market and plug, hey, buy, 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 whatever, whatever, check this out, go to my website. When I was doing that, I was getting sales and then I haven't really done that lately. I don't know, I don't know why I was waiting. That's just really what I was like, man, when I get these oversized shirts, I'm gonna try to start pumping hard um, and then up my, my marketing and all of that. I really need to go ahead and get some flyers made. And I wanna try to do some sort of uh, promotion, maybe get people to visit my, my Instagram page, um, like a comment or something, and then enter them in for like a contest to probably give out a free shirt. I don't know yet, all of this is still an idea, but I'ma see how that goes. Maybe do it for like two weeks, maybe. And then I'll probably just randomly decide, you know, who I wanna go ahead and give a free shirt to. So in this order, it's 35 oversized um, Trill Teddy T-shirts. I also went ahead and got a sample of the Trill Teddy hoodie and sweatpants. So hopefully it come out how I'm expecting it to come out. It looked cool in the picture. First time, it's an extra small, you know, my sweatpants. I'm gonna count these shirts out real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, I counted out 25. Did I order 25 or did I order 30? I'm tripping. I ordered 25. Okay, cool. I just had to make sure, man. <laughs> Come on now, dawg. <laughs> I'm gonna try this shirt on and let y'all know what I think. Need it, yep. Right. What y'all think? Check it out. Fit pretty snug. Yeah, it's fitting pretty snug. Okay. Really ain't got no complaints about it. It feel nice. I could not wait. To, let me take this shirt off. Actually. Let me put a, a, a normal size fitting shirt on. But just one more time, man. Just yeah. A nice length and everything. I like it, man. I actually went ahead and put on a regular fit and show a t-shirt just so y'all can see the difference. Yeah, I've been thinking about this hoodie all week, man. Okay. And then peep this, so the hood is satin, all right? Inside of the hood is satin. So I got locks, so I know it's gonna be good for me. But you know, dudes with waves is gonna be good for you. Women, this is gonna be good for you. <laughs> okay, so the it's nice, it's nice and thick. So I really can't wait to go ahead and put my hands in it and see how that feel. Cause I hate when the hoodie don't got enough space for the pockets, let's go. Okay, okay. So we got the Street Sanctum on the front. 
Let's see what the crop look like when I put it on, but you know, it's cropped. I'm really liking the quality. I know he was gonna get it right. That's my boy, man. Really. He ain't got me, and he ain't got no drawstrings. What? It's cool, this is minor. It's something I just have to make sure I get on him about whenever we actually do the, uh, the actual, the boat for it. So, that's how I look like on. Like how much space is in the hood. That's pretty baggy. You know what I'm saying? Crop is cool. It's an issue with the crop though, man. I ain't gonna do it. It just right here. The other, the rest of it feel sealed pretty good. I do see a little bit of loose thread right here. So maybe it was whenever he was cropping it. He probably went too high. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Because whenever he sent me a picture of it, so I could uh, check it out like that, I noticed it, was, it, it wasn't it was cropped. It was the regular uh, bottom, but regular, you know what I'm saying? So I told him, you charge me extra for the helm. You gonna take that? <laughs> Am I gonna just pay you less with this final in this final payment? Or are you gonna take care of that? He was like, I got you. So I don't know if he just didn't, if he wasn't paying attention or what, but that's a problem. I can't have this happening whenever I, have, I make a bulk order. But other than that, I think it's, it's pretty cool. Go ahead and put on the pants too. I think these drawstrings look a little cheap. That's the first thing I'm noticing with these. It fit comfortably though. I like I like the um, I like the waistband. I just think these drawstrings are a little bit. They just look cheap. They look like just a shoestring. These tips. These tips could have been metal, but this feel like pretty hard plastic. I got zippers. Let's see. It's not that bad. I feel like it could be a little better. Got a butt, uh, zipper on the back. Same thing. I might have to see if he has any higher quality um, zippers. It don't look bad to me. I ain't really got no complaints. And then the gray ones. Same thing. I feel like these just a little bit cheap. These is metal, or is this just coated plastic? <laughs> I would say overall, I like it. I, I noticed a few things I would have to make sure that he takes care of and changes, you know what I'm saying? The one being this this crop at the bottom, I can't I can't afford for this to, for him to be doing this. Now I'm gonna have to find someone I know that can sew. You know what I'm saying, have them sew that, so I, I can actually so this could be usable. Cause this this pocket ain't usable like this, man. So that's that's one big issue. He's gonna have to give me a free hoodie or something. My next order. I like the pants. I would say maybe uh, higher quality zippers. And if I gotta pay more for that, I gotta pay more for that. I think it's worth it. But I don't want people to be having issues with these zippers. That's real annoying. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and throw this oversized shirt on again. And then I guess you can get a, a quicker comparison between how the regular size, the regular fitting fitted shirt fits and versus how the oversized fitted shirt fits. The regular uh, fitted shirt.
You know, I never really wore too many oversized shirts, but I, I like this. I think I could do this. <laughs> Overall, I'm pretty happy with my shipment, the samples. I think these oversized shirts are nice. I think people are gonna really like these. I think I should have them a little thicker. Is it 200 GSM? I'm gonna go with 250 or 300 next time. Just with all my shirts, I think the minimum I want my shirts to be is 250 GSM. And I really appreciate you for watching this video. Now go buy a shirt at streetsanctum.com. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Hey, but nah, for real, I do appreciate you for watching this video. If you wanna support the channel, you can buy a shirt or you can do something non-monetary, like like a video, subscribe to the channel, comment on the, on the uh, video, or you can go to my Instagram, street underscore sanctum. You can like a post, you can follow me over there, you can comment on the post. Any type of support helps. I appreciate you all. Now have a great day, great night, great week. I don't know when you're watching this. I hope we have another great 24 hours though. <laughs> Peace.